my name is Mohammad Azim. So let me share my story with you. So back in 2017, I was doing some interviews for internship in Kayam. And during that interview process, I came across a very odd CV. In that CV, the applicant had written that he has traveled all across Pakistan. So I got really curious because most of the time people usually write that they have internship experience, society work, or they have spoken at TEDx Pias in the achievement section. And it's definitely going on my CV. But this guy was claiming that he has traveling experience all across Pakistan. And I said that how it's an achievement. They said that if you want to travel in Pakistan, you must have a lot of qualities to make it a pleasant experience. You need to know how to budget, how to plan, how to stay motivated, how to face un um, unseen difficulties, and especially how to make most of it out, out of some little things, some little experience. And I have developed these qualities and used them in my professional life. So this answer really impressed me. And somehow we couldn't work together. And, but this guy left me with a lot of food for thought. And I started investigating that why people in Pakistan are not taking up traveling so uh, much despite of its obvious benefits. And what I found, it opened my eyes and it was translated into Kayam's vision, my startup's vision, that is to make travel frictionless in Pakistan. So that was our aim. So there are a lot of difficulties in Pakistan when you want to travel, but they all can be categorized into three broad headings. The first is, it's very expensive. It takes a lot of money to move around in Pakistan. And the major reason of that is bipolarity. Now, market is not bipolar, it does not throw tantrum. But bipolarity, I mean that there are either very good places, but very expensive. You can't afford them or very cheap places, but you can't live in them. They're very unhygienic, unhealthy, unsafe. So it creates the lack of competition. And we all know what happens when there is a lack of competition. The prices are up, the level of service is down. That's a recent dawn headline by zero two. So this is the problem. The second problem is that there is lack of information. Now you don't know, there's no single online and offline platform in Pakistan which can give you authentic information about places. You don't know the real-time situation of Karakaram Highway. You don't know what type of accommodation arrangement uh, is, uh, are, are available in a particular area. You don't know what kind of transportation uh, you can use to access a certain area. There is no online or offline help to make your experience pleasant. But the biggest problem of them all, the biggest gender inequality. Now, in Pakistan, men and women pay entirely different prices for travel. Let me give an example. I go to Karachi a lot, and my average trip costs around eight to 10,000. It includes lodging, uh, traveling, and accommodation. But when one of our co-founders, Rubab Sayyid, needed to go to Karachi to pitch Kayam, we ended up paying 20 to 25,000 for her travel. The reason? Women cannot use the same means of travel used by men because it's not safe for, for them. And it's the biggest reason we were able to afford that because we had the money. And Rubab took this opportunity and it proved to be amazing for her personal growth. And she had positive and supporting siblings, brothers to be precise, who had no problems in uh, their sister traveling alone. But majority of our girls don't enjoy that position. They, are, they, are the li they either lack uh, financial support or the family support. And if some lucky girl has both of them, the society comes in and they question a lot. So there's one friend of mine on Facebook. She likes to travel alone. And she travels in Pakistan and she likes to uh, share her experience. It's a true story. So she was going up north one day. And on a neighboring seat, there was an elderly woman sitting there. And the journey was long, and they started talking with each other. And the inevitable, uh, inevitable question came up. And she said that, why are you going? And she said that, I'm going to see the place. It's beautiful. I want to enjoy it. Whom we are going? And she said that, I'm going alone. 
हाय मर्द नहीं है तुम्हारा कुछ नहीं आई एम ट्राइविंग अलोन एंड दे स्टार्ट इट द होल लॉन्ग लेक्चर वाई यू शूडेंट ट्रैवल विदाउट मैन शी गॉट इट इट सेट वेर इज योर मैन शेयर द मैन इज विद मी and she pointed out that man and she was gobsmacked that my friend was gobsmacked when she saw that man it was 3 year old son in her crib that was her man so traveling with men has now become so pervasive in our society that it is impeding our girls growth you cannot expect a country to grow when 52% of the population is not allowed to travel freely and safely it's like playing a cricket match with five players best of the players are out sitting outside and are not allowed to participate we need to change that and we need to change that now now all of these problems can be can be solved with information technology in fact there is a whole industry out there in the world as travel technology it uses information technology to make travel seamless and you must have heard examples of airbnb Uh, how many of you know airbnb good how many of you know uber kareem so these are all examples of travel tech and we must invest in these ideas to make travel to make pakistan travel friendly it's very necessary now how can you do that now let me give an example first why airbnb is important it's a international competitor we know but last year airbnb facilitated women all over the world and they were able to host travelers in their homes and they earned around 10 billion dollars in one year only women 10 billion dollars it's a huge opportunity so when you leverage these opportunity by using technology you bridge the rifts you bridge the rifts of economic gaps you bridge the rifts of social gaps now in pakistan we need to do exactly like that and for that we need fresh ideas and we need investment for these ideas and i am talking about you we need you the 60% of the population of pakistan we need you guys to come out and try out these new things and leverage these opportunities i know that not everybody wants to be an entrepreneur and innovator but there is more out there than just a good job or good internship now over emphasis on finding just a good job and good internship has brought our country to a stagnation point we are not able to look beyond that we must stop it at all costs in the end i would like to remind you the interview of my dun just like he discovered the benefits of traveling you guys can do too it's very easy you just need to go out the reason i say that because you must have heard that traveling makes me feel alive it's true because most part of traveling mimics life uncertainty sense of adventure meeting new people gaining new experience making new network now it's very necessary for life and it used to be the part of higher education in old times because when you wanted to become a master of something you needed to go where the master lived and master lived very far away and by the time you would have reached the master you would have become half a master yourself and traveling taught you all those things and it's one of the few old tradition i think that we must carry on and preserve because safar mein harkat hai and harkat mein barkat thank you